Ticker taken thought. I'm but a boy, though I own a heart as old as cold. Searching for something in the forest where I stroll. I am out here cause I got nowhere to go. The open air and the trees are known to soothe the poorest soul. We're headed to Missouri and we're headed to Iowa for the annual Outdoor Dream Foundation hunt. This is a hunt that we look forward to each and every year. But this hunt would not be possible without the help of a lot of people. Mr. and Mrs. Ed and Nancy Anders with the Rest in Him Lodge. They provide all of the housing for the kids and all for all the guides. The Missouri Department of Conservation, the Iowa Department of Natural Resources, and the Missouri Disabled Sportsmen. Without them, honestly, this hunt would not be the success that it is. Well, first up to bat is Mr. Will Asbell. You know, Will has had a brain tumor behind his left eye since he's been seven months old. He's now 15 years old. Every day of his life, he goes through chemo and radiation. It's something that I couldn't even imagine. But for this hunt, we're gonna watch the Lord show up and show out in a big way. Yeah, Lord, let's hope you have a great hunt. Have a great time tonight for the last evening. And hope we have a successful hunt. Hope we can get us a big owl giant tonight. Dear Lord, let me pray to men.
Smoked the giant. Did ya? Congratulations, what'd you get? A big, was it a big 10? It's a ginormous 10. Oh yeah, well that's exciting, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Did we get good footage? Did you see him drop? Oh yeah, I th he's, there's, he couldn't have ran far into the woods. He, he smoked him, Randy. We have, uh, hunted hard the last couple days. Not real hard. Not a real hard. And uh, sometimes it's just in God's plans when things work out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, Will said a prayer that he'd harvest him a deer. And it paid off. It paid off. Good Lord answered that prayer to anybody. Yes, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> that's the first time in your life. I've hunted with you enough to know that's the first time in your life. <laughs> what a job, buddy. You've been fighting for sure. I can't even get my hand all the way around it. You know, sometimes in life things don't go our way. We watched Will with a great big eight point, a nice 12 point already in the field, and we were hoping to get a shot off on those deer. You know, it didn't work out that way. We watched those deer leave the field and our hearts were sort of broken a little bit. But you know, God had other plans. He knew that that 10 point would walk into the field. You know, Will, just a couple weeks prior to this hunt, had to have some blood transfusions. We didn't even think Will would get to be at this hunt. You know, each one of those kids every year has a smile on their face. I never see anything negative come out of them. I think we could learn a big lesson from those kids. You know, life is not giving them the best cup of tea, so to speak. But each day, 
is a joy that they take. There's a happiness there. They're thankful for another day. But just like in Will's hunt, when we didn't think everything was going right, we realized that God had another plan. God may have another plan for you in your life. Sometimes when things don't go right in your life, and you're going through troubles and trials and tests, remember that you can't have a testimony without first going through a test. I don't know what to say. Oh, God! Hot dog! Nice buck. I don't know what to say. How far? Yeah. How far did he go? Wow, that is. Wow, that is. How far did you drag it?